Okay, Steve, Swin and Storm's trials for the new season ahead. Um, how pleased have you been with it so far? Oh, brilliant. Um, we've put uh, a lot of uh, effort into Facebook advertising over the last couple of weeks to uh, sort of piggyback the national press with the Super Bowl uh, and, the, and the NFC and AFC Championship games. And it's really paid off. Um, we've had over 50 people come down tonight to try the sport, uh, with another 15, 20 people that can't make tonight, but will be coming down for further sessions throughout February. So all in all, we're, they're in the sports hall right now, giving it, their, giving it their all for the athletic testing. So yeah, very pleased with our turnout. From what you've seen so far, how many do you think will break through into the team? Well, um, last year we had 45 uh, tryout for the squad and we actually invited 40 back. Um, the vast majority make the squad. Um, most of our players not only haven't played American football before, but haven't really done much competitive sport at all. We pick up a few guys from rugby and football, but a lot of the guys want to try America football because it's something new. You know, it gives them a chance to really sink their teeth into a new sport. So uh, I'm expecting the vast majority of uh, the uh, the guys to uh, stay in February and um, and give it a go throughout the month of February, really. And you've all different ages out there, so that's for your own sports as well. That's it. Yeah, we've got uh, 14 to 16 year olds. Uh, for our, uh, our, our youth squad. Then uh, we have a brand new junior varsity squad, which is under 21, six, uh, ages 17 to 21. Uh, that's a, a brand new program that started this year as part of the Bristol Academy League, which is a, a groundbreaking southwestern regional development. Uh, we're playing teams from Cardiff, Bristol, Gloucester, Bath, all at Filton's brand new 4G state of the art AstroTurf pitch with NFL style goalposts and a proper high school scoreboard. Uh, those games are on Saturday night or Friday nights and Saturday afternoons. And it's got a real, with under the floodlights, it's got a real Friday night lights feel to it. It's very good, brilliant. It's your third season. Uh, you're actually really pleased with how things are going. So you know, to yeah, so quickly in town. Um, we we set our goals five years ago. Uh, we're in year four of that five-year plan, and um, the club is where I want it to be. Um, at about around about the right pace as well. I didn't want to, the opportunity for the, the club to expand too quickly. You need to really grow the, the grassroots base of that participation pyramid. And we're still pushing really hard to get that junior and youth element growing. And at the same time, develop our coaching staff. Um, difference between American football and say rugby and football is, you can't just put an advert out and get 10, 15 coaches down because no one, no one can play the sport, but they can't coach the sport either. So we've put a real investment into developing young coaches. We've got a, a coach and development program which is uh, funded by Sport of Eight which is Sport England funding um, and the guys from last year have gone through run a, a flag tournament with uh, 14 to 16 year olds uh, flag is a, a five a side non-contact version of the sport a little bit like tag rugby very quick and easy to learn um, and get all the basic skills there and teach the kids and then those guys have gone on to pass their level one and level two qualifications now they're coaching um, the, the junior varsity and then next year they're going to start working with the adult team so it's all about sort of layering the club really to get to that peak with the adult squad. How hard has it been to develop the sport in this country? Because obviously it's an American sport at the end of the day. That's right. It's been it's had its ups and downs. Uh, in the mid 80s, um, literally one advert in the newspaper, you've had 200 people turn up. Um, in the mid 90s, things expanded very quickly in the 80s, almost imploded in the 90s. Um, once the World League finished and uh, a sort of NFL Europe left the UK and the claim wars and the, the monarchs uh, bit the dust, it was very difficult to generate interest. Very difficult. With the uh, return of the, uh, the NFL to Wembley, uh, with the, uh, the Wembley Games uh, and the International Series, it's literally had an explosion of interest across all ages of the sport, especially the university level. Well, the university level um, American football is now registered with Bucks, which is the sort of the, the national accreditation for sport at university. We've got nearly 80 teams competing across three divisions. Um, sorry, two divisions over three over several conferences, and it's one of the biggest um, competitions outside North America. Um, so it's a real that's a real uh, highlight for for the UK, and people are coming from the states and from Europe to play at U English universities, hanging around and playing in the summer, which helps develop the National League clubs. You had a, a pretty decent season last year, you won six games, I think, it's half of your games, which was an improvement. Um, what are you looking to do this year? This year, um, we have the, 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 the league has gone from two to three divisions. The, 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 uh, the, uh, the governing bodies decided that there's enough competition now to have three divisions. So we're in, we're in the third division 
we're in, we're in I wouldn't let's say the bottom division, but it's the third, third of three divisions, which means that every game is competitive for, competitive for us in 2015. Um, and creates the possibility of post-season football, a you know, real possibility for us to get into post-season football and really have my players with four or five years experience really step up and lead all these younger guys to uh, a hopefully all the way to a, maybe a bowl game in 2015. So, so what does the future hold for the club? You just see it kind of growing from strength to strength? That's it, just continuously layering the club with more and more small feeder junior clubs, really. Uh, with that, we can expand the base of the participation and feed into the adult team. It's all about developing youth. Everything I do goes back into the youth team. All the funding I get goes back into the youth team. It's all about developing the youth coaches, youth players, and then gradually rolling that out throughout, throughout uh, Wiltshire. So we've just finished a month-long session of taster sessions at St John's School in Marlborough, where we've started a, a satellite club there. The Marlborough Tornadoes have uh, just started training, and they'll go up against Swindon and a Gloucester team by the end of February, just in a little sort of five-a-side version of the sport. From there, we're going to go back into Swindon, sec Swindon Secondary Schools, Chippenham, create a, th a small three-way league between those clubs, they'll feed into like an All-Stars team that will play National League football. So always trying to layer those younger youth levels. Cool. And, and how good are some of these guys that you've got? You know, have you got any future NFL stars? <laughs> um, the, the beauty of uh, having Filton College with this amazing facility on our doorstep is that they've got what we call the Pride, which is the, the first high school team in, in the UK. And uh, so far they've actually fed I believe nearly 20 uh, graduates into the NCAA, the, the, the college system, getting scholarships to play NCAA football. Um, so that is the real conduit to get people into NCAA. Um, it, it'd be very, it's almost impossible for a, uh, a complete rookie to turn up and make an NFL squad. Half a dozen at most have ever achieved it. Um, some in a sort of... Um, some Olympians have managed to make practice squads, etc. But you really need to go through the high school, college route to get there. And fit one on our doorstep, offering the pride, then that is definitely the way for our young players to go, to get to their dreams. For anyone that couldn't make it tonight and has you know, had a, a little taste of the action on a video and then wants to get involved, uh, what do they have to do? Well, we're offering uh, training for the whole of February for new players um, for absolutely nothing, for free. Um, so it's free training sessions. Um, if they wish to get involved, they need to come to Red Oaks campus at Isambard School uh, at 6.45 p.m. So we can get them registered for 7 p.m. Uh, training is free, no obligation, and give it a go in the month of February, and then take it from there.